My name is Kevin Burton. I'm the creator of Polar, and I wanted to give you some a demo of the features that are going to the uh, version 1.19 of Polar, which I'm demoing right now. The biggest feature by far is support for area highlights. So when you're working with a document, sometimes there are figures in the document, and now you can create an area highlight around the figure. Then you can adjust the area highlight, and in the sidebar, the actual annotation is presented with a thumbnail of the uh, of the highlight. And you can resize it, of course, if it's too small for your view, but you can also do the top level polar features like commenting and creating flashcards from the, from the area highlight. Another big feature that we added was the ability to change colors. So now there's multiple colors and you can just select one uh, and change the color and both the highlights and the uh, box on the screen will reflect the color change. This also applies to text highlights. So we ask you to pick a primary color and then you can go in here and change it. Um, so it supports any of these colors. Technically it supports any RBG, RGB value, but uh, we don't have support for more than a few colors right now. I wanted to keep the initial user interface sort of clean and easy to manage. So this is a feature that was requested by a lot of users and hopefully that really helps, uh, helps them use Polar. Another uh, change is that the performance of the sidebar has also been updated uh, dramatically. We've done some performance uh, updates in the user interface. Not all of them are complete, but I'm pretty happy with a lot of them. Additionally, we've rewritten the annotation view. So now you can show annotations and a little bit better. And we actually show a preview of the annotation to the left. And you can select the full annotation. Uh, when you select the full annotation on the right, it is updated so you can go through and work with them. We also support uh, uh, searching by the body of the annotation. So if you, well, as you type, the user interface will update and you can also select tags. So you can select uh, things like that. And then the tags will updated uh, will be updated and you can do both. So you can do um, both tags and text and it does an and of the two. And of course you can remove the, the, uh, the tag and then the user interface will update. And then we've also, um, you know, under the hood, there's been a lot of bugs fixed. So we've also improved some features with capture, a big, a, a, excuse me, a number of performance updates. So this is a big, a big release. So um, would love your feedback. The other thing that I want to point out is the area highlights. You need to make sure that you're running the latest version of our Chrome extension. So we're still waiting for Google to update that. And uh, the latest version of the Chrome extension is required to use uh, Polar on the web. So the area highlights do work on the web, but just that you need the latest Chrome extension. And thank you very much. Uh, if you like Polar and you would love to provide us feedback, please take the survey uh, or just you know drop me an email, reach us out on Discord. Uh, you know, we really need user feedback. It's very valuable to us. So um, good and bad. If, you, if there's something that really bothers you about Polar, I want to know it. Uh, and if you something really like about it, that helps too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.